Hi, in this lesson I'm going to show you how to sort and filter documents in OneDrive. Now, one thing that you need to know about OneDrive is that it will always group file folders together. You see we have three file folders here, they are grouped together and they are at the top of the list. You cannot change that by sorting. Now, when we look at this list, we can see that it is sorted alphabetically A to Z, ascending, by the file name. But we can also sort by other things as well. You see these little drop down arrows next to the column headers? Those let me know that there are options in there. And if I go ahead and drop on that, you see we have A to Z, Z to A. If we change the sort, we can see now that it is sorted of descending Z to A and within the group of the file folders as well. But notice that we now have this little arrow pointing down. That lets us know that the list has been sorted by this criteria, by this column, and it has been sorted descending. We also can sort by things like modified by or modified when. So if we do this, let's say older to newer, and let's make this column a little wider there, you can see that that's what's happened. We see that the oldest modified document here six days ago is first, and it goes down to the most recently at two hours ago. And once again, our arrow is now pointing up, indicating that this list has been sorted by this column, and it is ascending. Now, we can also go ahead and we can filter our list as well. If we go ahead, let's go over here to the type. If we click there, you'll see that we can also sort by the type, but we can also filter by. Let's go ahead and let's click filter by. And you see that we can filter by the different types of documents. Let's go ahead and let's filter out everything except PowerPoint presentations. And you see it gives us that filter. It's hidden everything else. But notice that our sort is still in place. We are still sorted by when they were last modified. And again, oldest to newest. But we can change that sort. We can go back and do this alphabetically and it still maintains that filter. And we see the little filter symbol, the little funnel here on top of the typed column. That lets us know that that filter is in place there. Now we could also go ahead and apply another filter. Let's go ahead and filter by modified by. And when we click there, we see that we have two names to filter by. Let's go ahead and let's just select Pierce and apply. And now we have two filters in place, this one here and this one here. And again, our sort is still in play, even though we only have one document, it's not <laughs> really going to change anything. But if we go ahead and want to clear that filter, we can go in here, click on filter and either uncheck the checkbox here or click clear all. Either way, we'll make it work and we'll do the same thing over here. We'll clear our filters. We'll just uncheck that one. And now we're back to where we started. And I want to show you one more thing. Let's go ahead and let's put that filter on again. This time let's filter by Word documents. The filtering isn't going to stay in place if you close your OneDrive. Let's go ahead. Let's close that up. We'll come back to OneDrive. You see the filter is off, but notice that our sort is still in place. We are still sorted alphabetically. Now you may think, well, every time you come back, it's going to be sorted that way. Not true. Let me show you. Let's go ahead and let's change our sort Z to A. Let's close up OneDrive again. We're going to open it up again and see it kept the sort. We don't see the little arrow here, but it kept that sort. Now, a word of caution. This may not hold if you close it, close down Office 365, go away and come back tomorrow. But if you do it in a short time span, like we just did, the sort may hold. So you have to be aware of that. 
But now you know a little bit more about sorting and filtering documents in OneDrive. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time.